guys and welcome back to another video today's gonna be a studio vlog we're gonna be doing crochet thing we're gonna catch up on some projects I'm gonna let you guys know what I've been up to and we're gonna chat and we're gonna chill and we're gonna hang out if you're new here my name's Alexis I am 24 years old I'm an artist author creator youtuber crocheter and I am the owner of a small business called bruises to butterflies <laughs> Bruises to Butterflies is all about mental health awareness. It's about me selling my art, poetry, crochet, tons of stuff. <laughs> and BruisesToButterflies.com is basically where I sell all of my art. You can also find Bruises to Butterflies on Etsy, but there's more of a selection on my website. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you know when I post. I'm going to be posting more often. I'm filming as much as I can, and I'm having a good time. Thank you so much for all the love and support I've been getting recently. We hit 600 subscribers. How exciting! And I am just so happy to have so many friends. And I do want to preface this video saying I talk a little bit about grief and loss in this video because I recently had my dad pass away. So if that's not something you're able to handle right now, which is totally fine, I'll give you the timestamps so you can just skip that part of the video. Okay, that's enough talking for now. Let's get into the video. I've got a couple works in progress to work on right now. I've been kind of catching up on things that I started but didn't finish. So I've got these two bandanas and I've got to add the scalped edging and the straps to both of them. So let's do that. Okay, so while I start doing this little scalloped edging for this bandana, I was going to talk a little bit about why I've been posting a little less on like Instagram mostly. I was hoping to have posted more YouTube videos by now but I was blindsided. Completely blindsided. And what blindsided me was my father's death. I don't know why I say it like that. It's not a very happy thing. It was unexpected. My mother and I actually found him in the state he was in. And he was not alive so that's been hard it was really crazy how everything went down how I could feel that he was gone before we even knew he was gone he came to me my dream to tell me he wasn't okay and he was trying to give me a sign that's why we went and checked on him and he was already gone I think that's really crazy and yeah I don't know. Things just feel different. And I've been grieving. This is a major loss for me. I haven't lost anyone super, super close family-wise to me. And I'm 24. So it's been a weird, hard road and journey. And I'm learning how to cope. But I finally feel like I've got my crochet groove back. <laughs> I've started crocheting again. I'm having a good time crocheting. It's very nice to get my mind off things for a while, as well as making videos and content for you. The more crochet things I make and the more I accomplish with crochet, the happier I'm feeling because I feel accomplished and I love feeling accomplished. <laughs> I am trying to get back to a consistent posting schedule by posting reels. I've been getting a lot of love on my reels, so thank you guys. Um, as well as posting shorts on YouTube. Those have been doing really well as well. And I'm really thankful for all the love. I gotta learn that little bobble tip. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> it's times when I'm struggling, when things get a little harder, that I just I wish that I had more stability in my income, which I basically have zero income, which weighs heavily on me because I have to depend fully on my mom for everything. I live with my mother, I get fed by my mother, I like everything. And losing my father makes me realize how how little independence I really have and how literally devastated I would be if my mother passed away because I don't even know how to live on my own let alone 
do I have any income that can help me live on my own. But she's still here, so I'm very thankful. But that's why I work so hard on my YouTube. That's why I am always crocheting. I can't keep a normal job because of my mental health and the issues I have and the issues it causes me. And this is really what I want to be doing. I want to be doing YouTube. And I'm going to do this until I can get good at it and actually go somewhere in life. And I'm not asking for pity. I don't know. I'm just going off on a tangent, really. But, yeah. I just want to let you guys know that all the support you guys give me, whether you like, whether you comment, whether you subscribe, it it helps me immensely. And I'm so grateful and thankful to have you guys. So thank you. Without YouTube, without crochet, without art, I don't know where I'd be. Because life would just be way too difficult <laughs> without my hobbies and my creativity. So I'm really grateful to have to be able to even get yarn to crochet. And yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of talking. I'm I'm tired of talking now. But yeah, basically just thank you guys so much for everything. And if you're willing to watch, I'm willing to make content. I'm here for you. Mwah. All right. I'm going to stop talking for a little bit because that was enough for me. And I don't know what to talk about anymore right at the second. But I finished the scalloped edging and now I've got to do the, the straps and the edge on this side. And for the straps I have to chain 85. So I'm going to need to count that out loud. So I'm just going to play music for y'all. Enjoy the music while you watch me count. Enjoy the music while you watch me count. Yeah! Party. Enough sadness for this video. I just wanted to tell y'all what was going on. <laughs> Time to chain 85. Yippa doodah. Yippa doodah. And then I uh, pull it through. Yeah! And then we have our bandana. I hope you enjoyed the entertainment provided by me, Alexis. <laughs> and that is the scalloped. The single crocheted edge with the two things scalloped. There's a couple ends to when... There's a couple ends to wend in. There's a couple ends to weave in. But not too many. So... Because I only used one color in the middle, so I don't have many ends. But then she's going to be complete. So I'm going to go weave in those ends. And then we're going to do a white border on this one. I'm turning off this bright light because it's a little much for me right now. Woo! Alright, alright, ready guys? You know the song, right? Do you know the song? The weave in the end song? Do you know it? I just realized I've been like looking at myself this whole time. Damn. Anyways, usually I'm pretty good about that, but I forgot. <laughs> Alright, we gotta sing the Weave the Ends in song. Weave in the ends. You gotta weave in the ends as you go. Weave in the ends. You gotta weave in the ends. Basically, that's my song. And it just tells you to weave in the ends as you go. But if there's not a lot of ends, you know, you can wait till the end of the project, because that's basically as you go, anyway. But we try to weave in the ends as we go, so that at the end of our project, we don't have a million ends to weave in, because that's no fun. No fun at all. So. 
Okay, okay. We got some strap endies. <laughs> Editing Alexis here. Oh. <laughs> strap endies? What the fuck? And then I just do it one more time going back down for safekeeping. Weave in the ends. Weave in the ends. Did you pull it a little? And you snip the end off. And then it looks nice. It looks no. It looks nice. It's black, but it looks nice to me. Instead of just like a little. Instead of looking like this. It just looks a little nicer. Okay? So let me do that with the other one. Also, random life hack. When I started crocheting, I exclusively used plastic needles. Plastic little darning needles, tapestry needles, whatever you want to call them. When I got these metal ones, see, they're thick enough. They're a little thick. They're like the same size as the plastic ones. And they're not sharp, so you can poke yourself. And like, obviously, if you poke yourself too hard, it'll do damage, I guess. But they're not really sharp. And these were a life changer, a game changer for me. It's so much easier to use one that's metal. And I didn't realize it would be this much easier. But it seriously is. Way better. They're just way more sturdy, honestly. There's, there's nothing much to it. They're just way more sturdy. And I just like them better. So, use metal needles. It's a game changer. One more little end here in the corner, because we, what did we do, guys? Well, this is a little different than when I said early. But what did we do, guys? We crocheted over our ends. That makes weaving in the ends so much easier. Just saying. Another life hack for you. Cut our last little end off, and there you have it. One beautiful lovely bandana with some really nice scalloped edges and some straps yay all right i'm gonna do this white border and uh if you see me singing it's the greatest showman thank you I've got this rainbow hat that I started a while ago didn't finish. So I'm going to finish that as I watch The Greatest Showman. Here I go. Oh, 
Let me pause this. All right, friends, fam. Um, I'm gonna keep working on this hat, but my battery's gonna die, and I only have one battery for my camera. So I gotta go charge her. All right, I'll be back later. Peace. Well, I'll be back in like three, two, one. <laughs> some time has gone by. I ate some food, hung out with my mom. We have a visitor right now, Miss Kaya Rose. Say hi to your fans. Kaya, say hi to your fans. Say hi, fans. Yay. She's coming to hang out with me while I crochet. But hold on, sorry, the camera is falling. It's not right. That's not the right angle. Hold on. So, uh, Kaya came to sit with me, I guess. She's here. Hi, did you go to the vet today? You got an eye booger in your eye. Yeah. <gasps> Can I have a kiss? Please? Please! Please! That's real rejection right there, huh? Oh, hey! What was that? What was that all about? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stole a kiss! Ha <laughs> ha! What? What do you need? Do you need something? You hanging out? We hanging out? We having a good time? Mommy's crocheting. Yeah. Do you need anything? Do you need to go outside or potty or something? What's going on? Okay! Anyways, I finished this hat. So it is like the rainbow spiral hat. And... Now, two of these are going to be available on my website, so go buy it, yeah! So, she's itching. Uh, just ignore that, sorry. But yeah, we finished a rainbow hat, so there's two available on my website at this time, so go get yours if you want one! Plus, I don't have enough of the yarn to finish off another one, so I'm going to have to wind her up for sure. For sure. So... Let's load her up on the winder, and maybe this one will stop itching. <laughs> She's still itching. Stop itching! She had her allergy shot today, I swear. I swear you did. I swear. Huh? I swear. Lay down. Okay, let's load the winder. Get that up in here. And we are gonna... We're gonna wind the yarn. It would be ASMR, but Kaya's itching in the background. Sorry the camera's shaking, but the winder is attached to the table, so I make sure it goes the right way. Um, if you're wondering what color yarn this is, it is Red Hearts Mexicana. See, I can tell when something goes amiss. I can tell. Kaya, what are you doing? She's just standing behind me. She's not even doing anything. No, sit on this side. Kaya, sit on the other side. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm winding this yarn really quick. Can you not sit over there? Please? Can you please sit on the other side? Don't sit on my project. Get, 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 get. You're si <laughs> Get! <laughs> uh, you need to go outside? Let's go! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's keep it going. I'll show you the little cake of it after it's done. I'm done winding it. If it ever stops tangling, like what is this? It should not be tangled, but it's it looks a mess, honestly, so. We might run into more tangles, but I'm hoping I can quickly do this. Interesting. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. The yarn fuzz is real, guys. The yarn fuzz is real. Really real. The yarn fuzz, yeah, really real. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, actually. I got this, I got this. Don't stress. Don't stress too much. Don't stress. Just wiggle it a little bit. Let's try this now. Let's see how long we can go for. Okay, it's going. I just gotta go remarkably slow, but that's okay. I am kind of trying to hurry up, but that's okay.
almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So close, so close, so close. So close. I'm so close. There you have it. This is Mexicana cake it up. Yay. <sighs> that not took forever. All right, peeps. Now I'm going to be actually trying something new. It is a new crochet powder. It is going to be... So I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I kind of gave up on that cowl. Just because I chose dark ass yarn to use. And I... I need to learn from my mistakes and stop using dark yarn when I'm learning the stitch. Because that's just a mistake, honestly. Once I know the stitches, I can do it. But anyway, instead of that, I made this here heart granny square. How cute is she? It's actually like so much bigger than I thought it would be. But I'm kind of deciding what I'm going to do with it. Like, I want to do a scalloped edge kind of, but... It's just such an awkward number of stitches, it's just not going to work out, so I might have to do another row and then scallop the edges. I don't know, though. So, we'll see. What time is it? It's 1.19 in the morning, so I should really start winding down for bed. If Yeah, I should do that, so. I might crochet some more, but I'm not going to film any more for today. I'm just going to go. I don't know. Should I? I was. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's 1:19 a.m. I don't know anymore. Okay. All right. I'm done filming because I'm getting sassy. All right. Peace. I'm. I'll talk to you tomorrow in the same vlog. But tomorrow. Word. All right, friends. That's it for today's video. If you stuck around till the very end, thank you so much for watching. If you didn't stick around till the very end, then still thank you for watching. I'm eating a pickle. Hold on. <laughs> if you didn't stick around for the end, then you won't be seeing this then. <laughs> if you're not already following me, follow me at Brisbane to Butterflies or at Alexis Rose on all the social medias. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video to let me know that you liked it. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell to be notified when I post. Sorry I keep waving this pickle around. I'm having a snack. There will be more studio vlogs, more crochet videos all coming in the future. So stay tuned. And if you want to buy any of my crochet or shop Bruises to Butterflies, go to Bruises to Butterflies .com or... Find Resistor Butterflies on Etsy. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being my friend. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in the next one. Peace.